Hey everybody, I'm at the old park again today, as usual, the Pounded Out Park. Mr. Palomino just got here, and I got my first find of the day. I've been digging a few clad dimes and memorial pennies. I haven't even gotten a weedy yet, but I got myself a rosy. And uh, I already kind of pulled it out of the plug. I tried to get a video before, but my wife called. <laughs> I guess it cancels the video if your wife calls. Um, it's a 1963, and that makes number 51 for me, and I'm going to go after some more. I'm going to try and get three more tonight. That would be my goal. We'll see if that happens. Thanks for watching. What'd you find, Wayne? Uh, got a nice 1546 signal. It said nine inches on the screen, but when I dug it was only about seven. But the funny part about it is, I must must have mispinpointed it. I dug right here, and if you look right here, my shovel goes right in. Somebody else's plug. <laughs> so whoever dug this plug here, thank you. <laughs> you got me a nice mercury dime in the hole here. <laughs> and I, I thank you very much for that find. That's the back side of it. And I'll clean the dirt off and flip it over in the front. See what we got here. Hopefully it's not a 1916. 1942. 42 Merc. So I got a 42 and a 45 so far tonight. Sweet. And that puts me... 380. 380. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, everyone, I wasn't even able to get... I had to leave my plug i wasn't even able to get i dug a nickel out of that plug and it still had a signal in it and before i could even dig that out wayne's got his next one another mark <laughs> that one has a d-mint mark on it so let's see the 16 on the other side right? yeah that would be beautiful in this condition that would be beautiful uh it's 20 though we were close. You were close. <laughs> four it's a years good shape, man. Yeah, four years younger. That would have been beautiful. Huh? <laughs> that would have been, awesome. been about a two thousand dollar dime. <laughs> so uh, Wayne miss pinpointed. I think he just barely missed it. I think he's got a dice. I just waved over it, and I think he's on the edge of the hole where he's supposed to be finding this silver. I got an eleven forty five on the CTX. forgot to mention on that film too that I found another one right there. Yep. Arms another one and, and he got another Merc. That uh, last Merc that he had was an arm's length away. There's your silver. <laughs> now. Bummer. That's why I was off on the pin. Wave around still because uh, there could be <laughs> something else in there. That was a small nail for a nice signal. That's it man. There's more nail. <laughs> I think so. Yep. Uh, okay. There's more nail. Now that explains. <laughs> yeah. It's a big long piece of. Yeah, it's a big long piece of fence. Yeah. All right. Hey everybody. So, right about there, I just pulled a weedy. Right there, I pulled another weedy, and a memorial, an old memorial. And in this hole, I just pulled up. I had a 14, 15 signal. It's kind of hard to get on the CTX. Running on the silver mode, it kind of, it, it tries to uh, quite often kind of blank that one out. But you can see I have a 1942, a very nice nickel. And that is going to be a war nickel with a, let's see what the, Got the P above Monticello. Sweet. Silver number 52. Awesome. Hey, everybody. Just had a 1547 signal here with the CTX. It was 8 inches deep. And uh, I believe I see the rim of silver. And it looks like a bigger piece of silver, too. And it is. It is a Washington. Ha! 
<laughs> my favorite year, 1943, baby. Awesome. That's silver number three for me tonight, so I'm up tied with uh, Wayne. I think I'm getting the hang of this. That's silver number 53. Thanks for watching. That's my coal find for the night there. Hey, Wayne, what'd you get? Uh, blinded by your light on your phone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I got uh, three Mercs. One's a 20D, one's a 45, and I think the other one's a 40. And I got a bunch of wheats on top of all that stuff. You can see those Mercs are in pretty good shape, especially that, that 1920 yep. looks pretty awesome. Yep. Sweet. And yeah, my coal find for tonight's my padlock. <laughs> that sucker's pretty old. Look at that. That is a seriously silky. old padlock. And uh, here are my finds. I ended up with uh, 43 Washington, which is my favorite year. I think that's my third 43 Washington. I think I've got, this is my fifth or sixth quarter, and that's my third 43 Washington. Uh, 63 Rosie, and a 1942 Warnickel. Hey everybody, here's the wrap up from today's hunt. You already saw some of these, uh, I kind of did a little bit of a wrap up with Wayne when I was still out in the field. I ended up with a, about a dollar something or other in a uh, clad change, about a buck, maybe a buck fifty. Got this, I'm not exactly sure what it is. If I had to guess, I think this is something that maybe was wrapped, you know, maybe you had a ribbon on either side that was attached. Maybe this wrapped around a hat. It was maybe a decorative front for a hat. Now this, which is a um, token for folks that are swimming for kids. So if you have kids that are using the pool, Back in 1985, they were supposed to have one of these tags. And I got a belt buckle. Here are my Wheaties. It's 1940, 1941, 1936, which is actually in really good shape. My favorite, at least I say it's my favorite, 1944. I seem to find these more than any other wheat penny. And then I got another wheat, but uh, I can't really tell what the date is. So, it's just an arbitrary wheat penny. Finds of the night. Um, I ended up finding this very nice 1943 Washington Quarter, which I've found more 1943 Washington quarters than any other quarter or silver quarter that is um, the other you know I've gotten I think this is number six in terms of quarters and so three of the six are 1943 Washingtons so uh, I'm not sure if they just made that many or if people just did not like the year 1943 Maybe they didn't like the year 1944 for wheat pennies. But in any case, I have a lot of these. Well, I mean, I guess it's not a lot, but three of my six uh, silver quarters are 43 Washingtons. And uh, this one has no mint mark. Overall, in pretty decent shape, though. I like it. I'm happy to have it. It's a three silver knight. I can't complain. 1963 Rosie. And this has a D mint mark. Very nice dime. Silver number three. Actually, this was the second one I found tonight. Cleaned it up since I got home. Rubbed it with a little bit of baking soda to make it nice and shiny. 
1942 war nickel. Philadelphia. It's got the P right above Monticello. Which is very different than this guy. <laughs> you know, so if you're wondering, you can tell as soon as they come out of the ground if they are a war nickel or if they are clad. You know, if they've got that red hue to them, they are definitely clad. If there is no red hue, they are probably a war nickel. On the CTX, these came up with a 19 or a, a 1415 signal. Um, so if you have a 15 or 16 in conductivity, you have a good chance that what you're about to dig is a war nickel. Although, of course, you also dig a lot of pull tabs, just like any other nickel. But Hey, I was glad to have it. Glad to have all three silvers. That's silvers 51, 52, and 53 for me. Still a little bit behind pace, but this was definitely a good night. Close to catching up. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting.